My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit. We're a highest good for all organization, and we are creating a world that works for everyone. The way that we're doing that is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit, non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship, creating everything that we do so that it can be duplicated either as individual components or as complete self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world. Solution models that teach others how to create additional solution creating models. The reason why we're doing this is because we believe that if we make it easy enough, if we make it affordable enough, if we make it attractive enough, this idea will spread across the planet teaching more and more people how to live this way and truly create positive and permanent global transformation for the highest good of all people, for everyone, creating a world that works for everyone. Because we believe that's possible. We believe the resources exist, we believe the desire exists, and we believe the time has come for the human species to really do that, to create that, and that's what we're doing. And this is our weekly update. This is our weekly update number 48, covering our progress for the week of January 20th, 2014. As always, if you'd like to see all of our previous updates, if you'd like to see links and all the details of what it is that I am talking about right now, uh, go to our written blog. Our written blog has links and everything to all the open source content, all the tools, all the resources, everything that we're developing is on there and you can scroll back through weeks and weeks and weeks uh, over a year because we were doing written blogs before we were doing video blogs. Lots more information are there. And so uh, without further ado, oh, one other thing, if you want to, uh, if you'd like to receive an email with a link to that written blog and these videos as they come out every week, by all means, send us an email and we'll put you on our list which is our newsletter list, and our newsletter is just a, a weekly email that says, hey, here's our weekly updates. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. First thing is highest good education. This last week in highest good education, the core team, which consists of the satellite members and the pioneer members, are now done with 80% of the values image research. We've got 33 more to go. And um, we're looking at about 80 different values to choose those 33 and then do the last of the image research for that. Uh, behind the scenes, we're also organizing the art, music, and trade skills molecule content. All these things are going to look like the math molecule when they're done. So uh, and this is what that looks like. Also, uh, we finished 95% of the matter and materials lesson plan. We thought that we'd get that completely done this last week. We've just got a few more images that we've got to create for that. And so that will definitely be done. Uh, this week and then um, and the invitation still exists if anybody would like to join us if you'd like to help us create these lesson plans we've got another 30 of these lesson plans just like this matter and materials lesson plan that you see uh, we've got another 30 that we are looking to complete so if you're somebody that would like to help us complete those final 30 and you enjoy doing image research you enjoy brainstorming we've got them all outlined but lots of details still need to be added so just contact us if you'd like to help out with that this last week in High Good Food, the core team uh, finished the 50 final food forest page plants on our staging page. So they're actually up on the website, but they're not yet integrated into the food forest page. Uh, but still, check out that page. It is probably the most comprehensive food forest page currently in existence, uh, including hundreds of plants and over 70 different sources for actually acquiring all of those plants. And so the last thing we need to do is move the plants that we finished from our staging page over onto the main site, which is not as easy as it sounds because they're all alphabetized and we need a little bit more information from our botanist on exactly where those go. Do they go in the overstory, the understory, all those kinds of details. So um, yeah, come along. We additionally finished the Highest Good Food Portal page, which has links to all of the different components of the Highest Good Food program and uh, was quite the massive effort over the last few weeks to finish it, so we're excited to finish that and to be able to show you now what it looks like. It's live on the website. You can take a look at it. All the details. This include the creation of a whole bunch of new pages. Um, and the beauty of this is that it is now set up for indefinite expansion. We have the infrastructure in place to be able to add to this as much as we want. 
and just to keep building and plugging in open source resources as we develop them. And so getting this big chunk of work out of the way is very exciting. Um, also in the last week, uh, we've made some huge progress, 3D progress on large scale Aquapini. And all this is with the help of Avery Ellis uh, in 3D, all this stuff's coming together. The core team uh, put in our overflow pipe, added the stone pathway so you can start seeing what that looks like. The south sump adjacent grow zones have been added in there, um, plants in the pond, and then plant diversity in the deep water culture number one and the bell siphons have all been added in there as well. So lots of progress there. Also, we did an Aquapini roof lighting study. Um, and this is a short clip of that video. And this actually shows the design that we're gonna go with. Um, that video is, we studied four different, four different roof designs uh, that are different than our original roof design, trying to decide which one's the best. And so we were looking at heat loss, we were looking at sun penetration within the structure. And so if you wanna see the complete video, you can check that out on the blog and you'll see it's a three minute video you can see that so next we'll be engineering engineering the roof that turned out to be the best one which as i said is this design right here and um and so we'll be working on that over the next few weeks also while all of this has been worked on david sweet our uh, partner and consultant has been working on in-ground structure details in 3d and so here's a quick little snapshot of what that looks like or sorry we in-ground structural details in cad and this is what that looks like as it's progressing forward. So if uh, one area that we're seeking help on still in with the food infrastructures, we're seeking an electrical engineer. So if anybody knows an electrical engineer or if you are an electrical engineer, by all means, contact us. Um, we're all volunteer team here creating amazing stuff. And we would love, uh, we'd love your help if you're somebody who has the skills to help us design electrical systems for this so we can open source these food systems for the benefit of everyone. In Highest Good Housing uh, this week, the core team has been working on, behind the scenes, the planting plans uh, for the Earthbag Village. So next week, we hope to have some 3D updates showing the development of the Outer Ring, also another furniture design update, but mostly we've been working this last week on planting plan, landscaping details, things like that. Uh, also, we've begun, behind the scenes, redesigning the Straw Bale Village open source portal. It's 50% done. This is what that looks like. Um, if you go to the website, you won't see this yet because it's not up on the main site yet. It's on a staging page instead, but the rest should be done by, by the end of this week. And then uh, also Victor Herber continues to work on the vermiculture toilet designs, which has been a lot of research. So looking at temperatures, um, human waste production, space ability ratios, we've determined, gotten really clear by looking at everything that's out there. Like, hey, what's the best temperatures for worms, which is about 59 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. And then what is how much, based on the size of these trays for these designs, how much waste will these worms be able to process? And we've identified that the worms will be able to process about 40 pounds of waste a day, which is good because our very conservative uh, estimate is that we'd be putting 45 pounds of waste into the structure and they'd be able to produce 40 pounds of waste. And both of those numbers are padded. So, um, yeah, exciting movement on that. In highest good housing, we are seeking a communication engineer or uh, and additional 3D SketchUp help. So if you're somebody that uh, is or knows a communications engineer or if you're great at SketchUp, we'd love additional SketchUp help. On Tupical City Center, uh, the core team has finished the social dome and, um, and the complete bathroom details in there. So it's done, which is great. Mirrors, sinks, hand dryers, toilet paper dispensers, trash cans, uh, put in a couple water water fountains, uh, a little cleaning closet that goes into the library. Like all those foundations now are in there. Uh, next is the elevator, and then some in pool details like some stairs and landscaping. And so we're really putting the wraps on the big big chunks of the 3D for the Sego Center. And then of course uh, this week also we're going to be now double checking all the details which are now completed in CAD by Carl Harris. And so we've updated the CAD. Uh, drawing on the website thanks to all his work he finished the indoor pool details which was kind of some of the last details we needed um, cad window placement is now done and uh, now he's going to be working on elevation renderings and so this week should be the week that we uh, we got to just finish and double check everything and then next week we'll bring this to p2s engineering which is the structural and uh, electrical plumbing engineering firm that is donating their time to helping us uh, progress all this stuff to the next level so very exciting with all of that so that's what we're up to. 
creating for the highest good of all and creating a world that works for everyone because we know it's possible. We know it's possible. And we're bringing together the resources and the people that also believe that it's possible and realize that if we can make it easy enough, if we can make it affordable enough, and if we can make it individually attractive enough to live for the highest good of all, to create something that gives more than it takes, that contributes more than it requires to exist, then we can create solution models that create additional solution creating models that will be self-propagating, will spread across the planet and help other people to teach others how to help others too. Solution models that create additional solution creating models. And so, um, yeah, this is the movement that we're making viral. And our way of doing that is open source and free sharing everything to do it, making it as easy as possible to duplicate, putting it out there as quickly as we possibly can, and inviting everybody that has the consciousness, the desire to want to live and create for the highest good of all, to participate in what it is that we're doing, to join the team, to become a part of what it is that we're creating, or if you'd like to do what we're doing but do it differently, take everything that we're creating in whatever way works best for you and apply it differently. Create a different version, create a different iteration, create a, a, a better version of what it is that we're doing and invite others to participate and help you evolve that also. And so this is the version that we're creating. These are the areas that we're working on. And we want to share this lifestyle and share this concept, this idea, and open it up with the first of what will become hundreds, thousands of teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world, sharing the experience of what is possible. A lifestyle that really, really meets the core needs of the human spirit while simultaneously meeting the needs of surrounding communities, countries, the world at large. And so this is where we're up to. We invite you to participate. We invite you to join us on all of our social media networks. We are on every social media network. Check it out. Join us on those if you like. Subscribe. We'd love it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, if there's anything that you see on our on our website that uh, if you have suggestions or ideas, send those to us. We love the emails. And of course, you can also um, subscribe if you'd like. Send us an email and let us know that you'd like to receive regular updates and we'll put you on our weekly updates list. So with that, until next week, I will say thanks for following our progress and have a great week.